The weather has been abnormally warm for February, and it is confusing some of our plants. Here to tell us what we can do to protect our plants is horticultural consultant Heather O'Brien. Welcome to the show. I love the warm weather, but we're going to pay for it. We are, in so <laughs> many ways. In so many ways. All right, let's start with our plants. What is blooming now that shouldn't be? Well, we have, um, what I've observed are, of course, some fruit trees, and, and um, I saw a really nice cherry tree blooming yesterday. Um, but we also have plants that are leafing out, which... Um, uh, are, is really surprising to me. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. My husband was like, wow, I feel like my allergies are bothering me. And I was like, probably, because things are in bloom. Yes. You took this at your, at your own home. Yes. What is this? a very exciting photo there. But <laughs> that is um, a spirea shrub that usually uh, leafs out about a month and a half, two months later than it is than now. Than it is now? Yes. Okay. And then you, you I have a couple of other pictures as yes. well. So I have, um, I'm a big lover of hydrangeas. I love them too. I know. And a lot of uh, Old hydrangeas bloom on old wood, which mm -hmm. is wood that was there from last year. Uh -huh. They hide their buds in the summer, and then they put them out in the spring, and then they'll bloom all, all the next summer. Right. So um, this one is budding and leafing out, and it should not be doing this for another two months or so. And I'm very concerned because if it gets really, really cold again, it's going to kill those buds and there's going to be, it's going to kill the thing to the ground. Right, right. So what do we do? Well, in instances like the spirea, that's a really hardy shrub and it, it's going to be able to take, it's take gonna, it. It'll, it'll bounce back okay. even if it dies to the ground. Um, like say if we get 20s or even teens, mm -hmm. it'll it'll come back up from okay. the ground. But if with the hydrangeas, you really need to protect those because they're more ornamental, so they're a little bit um, more delicate. So you need to put a plan of insulation and process. For me, I'll, I will probably put a little cage around it and put some leaf matter I was gonna or say, can whatever. You put mulch or something around. Yeah, it mulch might be too heavy, but okay. you you need something fluffy like leaves, leaves. or something like that. Hopefully, okay. you, you still got some around. Leaf mold is really good. Um, anything you could even um, put like. Um, sheets and blankets over them okay not too heavy um, to trap the heat coming up from the earth the ground mm -hmm. yeah and make it'll make like a nighttime greenhouse but you got to take them off in the daytime in or the daytime in, yeah yeah because they need to breathe uh, obviously we're seeing the trees bloom yes. mm -hmm. and so what else is going to be affected by all of this warm weather oh we yeah uh, we were kind of talking about this before yeah. um we may pay for this later in the summer <laughs> with more bugs and fungus that hasn't been killed because we haven't had enough cold weather for uh, <laughs> to kill <laughs> right. any of those it, things. It, yes, and yeah. a lot of people are, are sick too, you know, and yeah. can't fight off that sickness because it hasn't been yeah. cold. That's me right <laughs> now. That's you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hopefully we don't pay for this warm weather because typically in March we can get some significant snows. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, exactly. And, and the native trees are kind of will be confused later on because they need a certain amount of cold time mm -hmm. in order for them to set like it kind of sets an alarm oh you've had enough cold time you can come out right but it, it's not they're not accumulating cold time right now so they may come out leaf out you know much later than they usually do mm -hmm. and if that's the case then it might damage them later on because they won't have enough time to soak up enough sun mm -hmm. uh, over the warm months to go back into dormancy all right Heather thank you so much appreciate you being here and if you want to check out her website that garden girl dot com and we